Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Steve Rose News. It is our Christmas special episode. Merry Christmas everybody. 2015, nearly over. Only a couple of weeks to go and unbelievable year that we've had. Uh, it's ex been exceeded all expectations. Quite honestly, it does feel a little bit like um, the entire world knows who's we, who we are and what we've done and more importantly where we're going. But we are planning bigger and better things for 2016. Uh, we've got some really exciting news to share with you. And I'm going to hand over to Rich and Jamie who are going to tell you a little bit about something we're incredibly excited about here at Steamforged. So the first announcement we can tell you about is the Steamforged Convention, uh, which is in November time next year in 2016. Uh, we're going to have a series of tournaments at it. We're going to have hobby events, seminars, and some of our well ourselves and other companies we, we associate with will be there so it's going to be quite a big event it's also going to lead on to something jamie's going to tell you about now so in 2016 we're going to be starting off the championship circuit so championship events are a, a name we've thrown around a little bit already so uh, it's been mentioned in the organized play document we're going to be having our first sanctioned championship events starting in 2016. We're going to have six of these events starting up these are national level events so most countries will only ever get one championship event um, so the first one we can announce happily is going to be run at GrotzCon in Canada, which is a convention that runs from the 1st of April to the 3rd of April. That's going to be the first championship event that runs. We're happy to announce another five events that are going to also happen in 2016 for the first time. In October we will have the British Championship event, um, and in September we will have an Australian Championship event, which will run in Brisbane at the Big Blue. Uh, we'll also have an event in the Republic of Ireland, venue unconfirmed for now, and one in Germany and one in the United States. Yeah. So the big thing that's special about all these events, aside from the fact that they are a national event, you'll be the champion of that country for Guild Bowl, so to speak, is that we're going to be inviting all of the winners of these championship events over to the Steamforge Convention on us. So we're going to be paying for the winners to be arriving at the Steamforge Convention and we're going to be paying for your accommodation for the duration of your stay and you'll get to play in a World Finals. Um, so that's for the first six championship events. There'll be a seventh that also runs at the Steamforge Convention itself. This will be the, the golden goal, last chance, championship events to try and get into the world finals and we will also be having one more wild card slot which will mean a total of eight people will play for the chance to be the Guild Ball world champion. Yeah. We're also going to announce our honoured guest. Uh, this is someone who is part of our project programme uh, who basically has done something extraordinary or, or to build our community throughout the previous year. Uh, and we're going to be flying them over, giving them the hotel room as well, and they're going to be attending the Steam Forge convention. Um, and this year, we've got Jerry Hodgson um, from Canada, who is going to be our honoured guest for the previous year. So he'll be coming over in 2016, and he's done masses in Canada for us, so he's really helped grow in the community over there and be a real substantial part of uh, our growth in Canada. So 2016 is going to be awesome. Uh, we have got so many plans lined up here at Steamforged for developing Guildball and other things. Um, one of the things that I'm particularly excited about is the addition of new captains. So every single team, as you know, is going to get a new captain. Um, I'm getting lots of these come through from our various uh, sculptors and manufacturers. Um, awesome models like the new Esters uh, coming out very soon. And we also have Corsair, who I am incredibly looking forward to, to painting. And what? Wait, what? Who? me spoilers I reckon so I'm going to share with you that the new captain for the Union is going to be none other than Mr. Rage himself um, he gets a promotion quite how he does it you'll have to wait for the book but it's uh, it's pretty epic so in amongst all of that new captains coming out new mascots coming out um, rest of the veteran models coming out and um, season two launch at uh, salute next year is going to be massive Please, please try and make it along to London. If you can't make it to London, then we'll look after you, of course, online so you can share in the fun and, and, and get a sense of what the experience is like. And then when Salute is done, we, we're kicking off into Season 3 development. In fact, Rich and I and, and, and Jamie have got to start a little bit before then. We're already talking about two brand new guilds that we're going to start working on for Season 3. Uh, we are also developing a, um, a new way of playing Guild Ball. It's still the same game that you love, it's still the same models that you love, but it's, it's a new way of playing it that, that we're incredibly excited about. On top of that, what else are we going to do? So, oh yeah, we're making a foray into plastic production. Now, if you think that we didn't exist as a company less than 12 months ago, and we're now talking about a plastic production line on top of the resin and the metals that we do, um, blows me away. And I'm so incredibly proud 
of what we've managed to achieve last year and I am going to be bursting at the seams with pride if we can pull off you know everything that we're planning to do next year um, so the plastic production we're going to be doing a dedicated terrain pack uh, designed for you guys at home and for you uh, tournament organizers to make your lives a lot easier to use uh, the actual size terrain pieces that, that we recommend to, for the best play experience um, other stuff that we're kicking off what else is there how can I forget brand new game uh, yep we're going to start an, on a new game and um, to add to Guild Ball, to add to the Infamy Miniatures game, to add to the other stuff that we're working on um, with, with a load of other people. Whole new game, much like we did with, with Guild Ball though. We're going to bring you along for the ride. You're going to see behind the curtain, you're going to be part of the team, you're going to get involved, we're going to canvas opinion, we're going to listen to feedback um, like we've always tried to do. And so on that note, I really want to demonstrate to you that we truly believe that we're a company run by gamers for gamers um, so please do send us your feedback about how we're doing how whether you like our games whether you don't like our games what we can do better to make this just a better service for you and you can do it face to face with us 2016 is going to see a launch of our world tour uh, we are going to be traveling for all, all over the place i'm looking forward to racking up some air miles coming to meet you guys in person going to be going as far afield as australia down to Cancun in, July, uh, in January uh, to hang out with those guys and drink some beers, then straight over to America in February for Captain Kong, Adepticon, and then we're back in London for uh, Salute, and then we're off somewhere else, and then we're over in Europe, and we're at Essen, we're at Belgium, we're everywhere. So please do help us to stay the company that is friendly and, and, and welcoming and, and always happy to have a chat. Come up and talk to us and just, just find out who we are and, and hang out with us. So on that note, I look forward to seeing you guys when I see you in, the, in person. I look forward to hanging out with you online. I definitely look forward to hearing about all your games on Twitter and Facebook and all the other social media outlet. And like Santa Claus riding a unicorn in space with a green laser sword says, have a, have a good Christmas. So hopefully you guys are excited for all that as we are. Uh, and have a really nice Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. And we'll see you in 2016. Merry Christmas. Hey guys, welcome to a very special episode of Steve Forge News. Uh, today is our Christmas special episode. Am I supposed to turn around? <laughs> <laughs> right, you can put the dog. You can put the dog down, Matt. We do it that. Alright. He doesn't want to get down. No, he's happy there. <laughs>